Hello, my name's Keith. I'm the Spiritual Care Coordinator at the Mary Stevens Hospice here in Stourbridge. Welcome to our Peace Room, which is part of our new day services facility that's normally a busy place but is very quiet at present. Colleagues are still working, some are here, others are working from home, finding different ways to support our patients, their families, at this very difficult time. We're making a lot of phone calls. Uh, the inpatient unit is continuing to function and to care for those who are most in need, some of whom are coming to the end of their lives. In these anxious, uh, difficult and uncertain times, we all need to find strength, peace and hope. And many of us can't do that in the usual ways. That's the challenge people facing a life-limiting illness have to deal with as well. What do we do when we have to dig deep? How and where do we find the resources that we need to sustain us when those things that we normally use to get by on don't seem to work or aren't satisfying? Here at Mary Stevens, we offer spiritual support to people, whatever their background or beliefs, whether they have a particular faith or none. We use the word spiritual to mean those things which give our lives a sense of value, of meaning, purpose and belonging. In these strange days, I'd encourage you to reflect on what those things are for you. Do get in touch if you'd appreciate a chat and look out for the online resources that we're hoping to make available over the coming days. I'd like to finish with a very short blessing that uh, one of my colleagues, uh, Rachel, who's part of the spiritual care team here, one of our lovely volunteers, has written. May peace surround you, may light shine within you, and may your soul be held in love. Thanks for listening. <laughs>